today, Satan. Not today, Nick. Not today, ankles. We don't have it. Questions. Where's my cocktail? Where? That's my opinion. All right. You ruined it. You ruined it. You did. Uh, what the f is this? The lies. There you the go. Lies. There you go. <laughs> you are the biggest bully in Hollywood, and everyone knows it. Before we start, it is time to give a shout out to our partners of this video and are the beautiful people of Jibu Beauty. They have an amazing skincare collection that will make your skin and your soul look amazing. Their personal mission in life is to make your skin glow. From the Super Duo to the Multitasking Tint Moisturizer to even their new Enchanted Bloom collection, everything that they offer is just perfection. So if you want to get your products, make sure to go to the link on the description below and do not forget to use my discount code ANDY15 and you will get between 15 and 20% off. So get your products right now. Jibu Beauty, inspired by dreams, made for reality. Hello, Overray Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Overray Hills, and welcome to another piece of exclusive tea that I have for you right now on this beautiful Sunday fun day, wherever you are, because here in LA, it's not beautiful at all. Okay? It's raining, it's cold, it's depressing. Like, I don't know how people live like this. No, I'm just kidding. But uh, uh, girl, it is it is not our vibe. Let's 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 put it right there. It is not our vibe here in LA to have this weather. But anyways, um, girl, let's talk about the Real Housewife of Beverly Hills because the tea that I have for you is popping and is hot, and it's all related to um, I think everyone. You know, I have like a little bit of like things here and there and a lot of like Erica Jane things and um, as I, I, I already told you this morning you know she is in the outs with everyone and there are, there are reasons behind that and I think the producers are really trying to, to to put some reason inside Erica's head but we don't know if she's gonna register that and, and wrong with it or if she's gonna be literally digging her own grave okay so let's talk about this mess i'm gonna give you the tea right away you know because why keep you waiting and then we're just gonna discuss i want to know everything that you uh, that you guys have to say so according to my source okay production is working hard to make crystal minkoff more of a central character okay uh I, I already told you guys this before. I'm gonna go through like, there is like several things, okay? So I already told you guys this before. They're ready to take Crystal to the next step because this is going to be Crystal Minkoff third season, you know? So now it's time for her to like really taking some like, like big commitments inside the show. Maybe this is the time for Crystal to move up into the couch at the end of the reunion, right? So they're really trying to be like, okay, we need, first of all, they wanted to change the season into like not being so dark, right? And I think Crystal has the power to do that because she has a, a lot of like a beautiful family and a, like a, a lot of things that could go around her that it will make the season a lot more lighter. So I'm happy that they're, they're putting in like in a more like a central character. Now, Guys, Erica Jane and Garcelle Boive have a schedule a scene in the coming days, okay? And this is a very important scene during this new season because they're gonna be this uh they're gonna be discussing the terrible way of how her kids, especially her black kids, were treated, okay, and also who was behind the butt attack yep that is coming that is coming you know and there is a lot of rumors that lisa rena was behind the bot attack now i think garcelle is definitely gonna bring rehash the situation with Jax, you know and oliver because let's be honest like uh erica jane like came i mean came on him and uh is, do you say came on him no how do you say that in english hit on him yeah 
Latina woman, guys. Anyways, you know what happened. You know, she was offering threesomes for Oliver and then she was screaming while, while she was like high and drunk and like the whole thing. We, I mean, we talk incessantly about it. So it will be like make a lot of sense that the girl maybe needed some time to process and to really like take advantage of that moment to sit down Erica and tell her what you did was disgusting. Okay, you are a horrible human being. You need to apologize. Because let's be honest, the apology, the, the semi apologies at the reunion and all of that, it was just bad, you know? Um, so I think this is going to be a good scene. You know, they're going to be talking about that. But also, if they bring the bots, it's going to be very interesting because you know that Garcelle had their own investigation, which was different from Diana Jenkins' investigation. So it will be interesting to see if Garcelle has the balls or will I say the tits, you know, to put it on the table and to say that to the world, hey, here are the results. Guess who is the father, you know, and say like, Miss Rena was behind it. Let's see. I mean, if that happened, girl, you are having right there a great start of a season. Okay. So anyways, that's what part. Now it says the Fox Force is officially finished. So all of the women are mixing with each other. That is also true. Remember, uh, there is no more Fox Four, Fox Five Force. You know, I mean, Teddy Mellencamp is out, uh, Lisa Rena is out, and then Kyle Richards is not playing with them anymore. And it's only like Erica Jane and Dorit Kemsley at this point. And yeah, the Force itself got destroyed. So that is going to be interesting to see how they are remixing. I think. I think. I think the producers sit down, Erica Jane, Kyle Richards, and Dorit, and they were, we are not going this route anywhere, any, anymore. So you have to stop playing together and you have to play with everyone else. Period. Done. That's what it needs to happen. So that we, that's what we're going to be seeing a lot more scenes of like randomly, you know, like Dorit Sutton or like Erica Crystal or like Kyle, um, I don't know, you know, like. They're going to be mixing everyone. So we're going to be seeing a lot of new scenes. Now, Erica Jane has definitely been advised to stop talking about Lisa Rena. And I told you guys this in another video that Erica Jane is still blaming Kyle Richards and Sutton and Crystal and like all of and basically everyone of Lisa Rena being fired. And she definitely wanted to bring it on this season and talk about it constantly. Well, apparently the producers are like, Bitch, stop talking about Lisa Rena because it's not gonna happen, okay? Stop trying to make Fetch happen because it's just not gonna happen. Uh, and they definitely don't want to hear the word Lisa Rena anymore, okay? Believe me, this is not like a Lisa Vanderpump situation where we were very, and we're still happy every single time that they mention Lisa Vanderpump on they bring like a flashback. No, like we want to forget and forget. Get no what? Forget, forget, shit. <laughs> I messed that up. We want to forgive and forget, but we are not forgiving. So we just want to forget, okay? We want like Lisa Rena out. And that's it, guys. That's the tea that I have right there for you. I'm still waiting for a little piece that is coming, but it's coming probably tomorrow. So stay tuned. So let me know what you guys think on the comments below. And if you want to get all the tea related to the Real Housewife of Beverly Hills, or any other Bravo franchise or pop culture, make sure to subscribe, 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 hit the notification bell, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.